we are looking at enhancing the secret messages project from the YBY Python curriculum available at www.yby.in. In this video, we are going to look at yet another way of jumbling up the letters so that a secret message gets created. Let's say we look at every nth character in the original message and lump it all together. For example, in the case of four, let's say my string was Python is cool. I'm going to say, I'm going to look at character, let's say at zero, at four, at eight. Now these are indices, 12 and put them all together. Then I go ahead and look at one, five, let's say nine, 13, put them all together and so on and so forth. Now the interesting thing about this encoding is that previously we were just jumbling up say within a group of four. But now we, as you can see from these arrows, we are jumbling the letters all across the entire message, which makes it quite interesting. Now, obviously, there's nothing magical about four. There's nothing sacrosanct about four. We can do this for any number. For example, the, there's, you know, in this picture, I've given you an example with, say, every fifth character. So I go and look at every, say, 0, 5, 10, 1, 6, 11, and so on and so forth. Once again, my encoded message is such that the letters have been jumbled all across, as you can see from these arrows. Now, really, this is not that hard to do uh, if you think about the principle of slicing, because slicing allows us to create, let's say, substrings. Now, what I can do is that I can create, for example, substring, which is 0, 5, 10, 1, 6, 11, and so on and so forth, for example, in this case, and put them all together, one after the other, and I would have achieved my objective. That's exactly what we are going to do. Basically, the idea is that let's say n was 4, which means we want to put every fourth item together. I'm going to slice my original message to give me four substrings, which is 0, 0, 0, colon, colon, 4. Now, remember, this is start, stop, step, and I'm missing the stop, which means I'm going to do this all the way to the end. So I start from 0, step of 4. I start from 1, step of 4. I start from 2 steps of 4. I go to 3 steps of 4. Now, clearly, each of these will have length, less, uh, you know, length message, length of message by four. Now, I'll make sure message is a multiple of four uh, by adding some spaces. Now, if you just generalize this, and now this is important to code. So, if I generalize this, I'm going to get n lists. Each of these will be of length message by n, and these will be obtained by message zero colon colon n, message one colon colon n, all the way until message n minus one colon colon n. Now, in fact, the moment we realize this, the code is just a direct consequence of this statement, what I can do is to use a for loop to give me these subslices. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's just take a look at this. I'm going to say, look, let me create this message, you know, by calling using a function called transpose. Now, the, the reason for transpose means to sort of interchange. Um, the reason for this will become a bit clear, but I'm going to call this transpose. And I'm going to say, okay, look, you know, first thing first, I enhance the, the length of the uh, string as always to make sure it has got, you know, multiple of n uh, characters. Now notice this is where I'm building those substrings. So I call it temp and I run my KK in range N. So I go from zero, one, two, three, four, all the way to N minus one. I create the substring, which is say message KK uh, colon colon N. And then I just add it to my original string and then finally return S. Now, clearly, if you think about this, this is implementing the scheme that we were doing. Let's see this in action by actually writing this code. So I came back to my code here. Uh, first thing first, I define this function. I just call it say def transpose, um, you know, uh, message and say n. And I give a colon here. Now, a big part of this is in fact going to be quite similar to this. I'm just going to copy this right away, um, you know, because so let me just copy this, and paste it over here as well. Now, the first part doesn't change because this is essentially to extend the length of the string. Um, obviously here I'm going to do KK in range of let's say N uh, because I want to go I want to have KK going from 0 1 2 3 4 all the way to N minus 1 the temp would be formed by basically going KK to let's say no N and in steps of N so notice as KK goes through so it goes 0 uh, colon colon N 1 colon colon N all the way to N minus 1 colon colon N and in fact I just need to do you know, S is equal to S plus temp. Now, if I did this and I return S, um, I can like, you know, so this is the function that I've called. I can call this, for example, let me just call it say X transpose, uh, say for example, XT, say call say transpose. Um, so X was my original message. Let's say I transpose in groups of four. We can see this working, um, you know, so I say, for example, look at XT. It has done, you know, now you can clearly see it's different from what we have done here because this has, in fact, you know, jumbled up letters over a much bigger span. Now we can, um, you know, also do, for example, X transpose of, say, six. 
uh, you know like i said there's nothing magical about four you know you can just do this as well if i did this for example xt is now with some extra spaces but clearly different from what we had earlier and it has to be different now i hope the idea is clear in the next video we look at how we decode this is actually quite interesting uh, but we can do that separately if you think this way of learning python programming is fun it makes you think it makes you understand better look at our website because there are many many such activities over there take care thank you so much bye bye